Hey guys, this is it's the polar bear. I'm going to be bringing you Diablo Hellfire. This is uh, going to be a playthrough of uh, this awesome game and the expansion made by Sierra. And uh, this will be including all the extra levels and all the available quests. As you can see, um, I have unlocked every character. There's uh, six in total and uh, two of them are hidden characters that's the bard and, and the barbarian so i'll actually go ahead and, and pick the barbarian here because i just like how they play and since uh, I'm, no, I'm not going to be using magic and i'm just going to use items that i pick up so i thought i would have the best chance with him Whoa, so now we're just going to talk to all the characters and see what they have to say Goodness, you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Thank goodness you returned. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. The story of Wirt is a frightening and tragic one. He was taken from the arms of his mother and dragged into the labyrinth by the small, foul demons that wield wicked spears. There were many other children taken that day, including the son of King Leoric. The knights of the palace went below, but never returned. The blacksmith found the boy, but only after the foul beasts had begun to torture him for their sadistic pleasures. What ails you, my friend? Cain is a true friend and a wise sage. He maintains a vast library and has an innate ability to discern the true nature of many things. If you ever have any questions, he is the person to go to. Can't a fellow drink in peace? Griswold? Good old Griswold. I love him like a brother. We fought together, you know, back when we... Lazarus. Lazarus. Lazarus! I sense a soul in search of answers. Though the heat of the sun is beyond measure, the mere flame of a candle is of greater danger. No energies, no matter how great, can be used without the proper focus. For many spells, ensorcelled staves may be charged with magical energies many times over. I have the ability to restore their power. But know that nothing is done without a price. No. Day. How may I serve you? Farnham is a drunkard who fills his belly with ale and everyone else's ears with nonsense. 
I know that both Pepin and Ogden feel sympathy for him, but I get so frustrated watching him slip farther and farther into a befuddled stupor every night. Psst, over here. shower her with whatever riches I could muster. And let me assure you, I could get my hands on some very nice stuff. Jillian is a beautiful girl who should get out of Tristram as soon as it is safe. Maybe I'll take her with me when I go. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Ah, yes. To now we have uh, talked to everybody in town and, well and learned a, learned a little bit about the lore and and uh, we obviously know from from talking to all the people that that the archbishop he's obviously the bad guy in this story a, a, apart from of course Diablo I can't cast that here but uh, yeah Diablo did uh, order Lazarus around and yeah, it has been fouled indeed. And, uh, yeah, and this uh, Archbishop Bishop Lazarus led a group of townspeople in, uh, in order to save, uh, save Prince Albrecht, which is the son of Leoric. Uh, but uh, that was only uh, an illusion. He did uh, actually kidnap Albrecht for Diablo and just let all the townspeople to be butchered at the butcher's cleaver and we are now this episode is all, is all going to be about trying to kill the butcher which is in my opinion one of the hardest fights to actually beat we're lucky here we get a decent 200 axe the weapon of choice of course for the barbarian and uh, the butcher is at uh, dungeon level 2 so there's of course uh, 16 original dungeons and there's 8 extra from uh, the Hellfire expansion uh, Blizzard has uh, stated that uh, everything that's uh, regarding Hellfire is just canon and canon meaning that it does not uh, have av any relevance to the story or anything like that the same goes with the books there's no uh, the Blizzard has deemed that canon as well, so there's uh, would uh, so if you've read the books, then you can't really count on that too much. Uh, the gameplay is pretty decent in this game. It's uh, you just need to click and uh, spam that uh, mouse, that left mouse button, and uh, just try to kill everything. And I actually played this game and D2 of course as well, and uh, the Lord of Destruction, the expansion for D2. And I find the graphics very similar, I have to say. It's a, a little bit nicer of course in D2, but not that much. Uh, the huge leap from D2 to uh, D3 is going to be huge. And actually in this game, since uh, I, I see that popping up the, in the, the corner there, you see the axe going yellow, uh, meaning that... Uh, we need to repair it and in this game if uh, if uh, an weapon a weapon or, or or an armor gets to zero durability it just gets destroyed like uh, in, uh, in the hardcore Korean games where you need to enchant items and if you enchant long enough and then fail 
the item is going to be destroyed. So yeah, we are on our journey to find the butcher. And uh, you might think to yourself that uh, is he has he on uh, any other relevance to the story, the butcher? No, he he does not. But he's very similar in in how he Whoa, works you? as in like the smith in uh, D2 and uh, have fast have yeah the armorer uh, similar skins there. And actually the the soundtrack and everything in this game is pretty nice as well. I uh, pretty much enjoy that and uh, when I, when there's a dead moment I might just let you guys hear that. There's like uh, screams in, in the distance of uh, women and children and, and such. So about the lore guys you can uh, ask me anything. I will answer and try to find the, the, the clearest answer and uh, answer it in the next video to come etc and I'll try to put out two videos at a time so we have all the videos or most of them out before D3 launches which is of course 15th of May and I just de decided to play this again because I wanted to experience the lore again and actually there's a lot of lore in D1 uh, not so much in D2, so D2 was a little bit more about the gameplay, I have to say, and but still, in uh, D1 uh, he goes a little bit and talks about the Sin War and how it came to be that uh, the Prime Evils, Bale, Diablo, and, and Mephisto got banished to Sanctuary and and uh, all that kind of stuff. And the four lesser evils, of course, rebelled against them because they thought they were they were uh, focusing too much on the humans and not against the war against heaven. And in T3, uh, we're probably going to see all the demons, at least if we include the bo the, the double expansions. We haven't killed any anyone yet. We have tried to kill Diablo. We killed his. We we destroyed his so Soulstone in D2, and we destroyed Mephisto Soulstone. I'm not sure about Baal. I can check that out. But still, they were just cast to the void, and and the invasion that uh, Belial is going to do in uh, D3, I think, uh, and the world the world stone being destroyed by Tyr Tyriel. Uh, it means that uh, there's. Uh, Sanctuary is just open for everyone, so we might even see the real Diablo. We haven't really seen him yet, uh, or any anyone for that matter. We have only see see a part of them, or their m their mortal manifest to this world. But there's some speculation that the world stone wasn't ex uh, really destroyed. He was just. Uh, teleported to another dimension or another place or something like that so so that's going to be interesting and of course the main character the main NPC character in D3 appears to be Leah so I'll tell you guys a little bit about Leah Leah is uh, the daughter of uh, of our character or to be exact the warrior character and uh, you might be wondering, isn't the warrior, the Dark Wanderer, isn't the warrior the one who actually allows Diablo to get to Lutgolain to save his brothers and Kuras, etc. And yes, that would be correct, but uh, he is still her father, uh, the warrior, and he, I think he is called in the, the Book of Cain or something like that, he is called Adrian. And uh, her mother is actually the witch that we encounter in D1, in the town, called Atria. So Atria and Adrian are her parents. And you might wonder how, how does Dacker Kane fit in, into all of this. He's, uh, she calls him Uncle Kane because he actually raised her or helped raise her at least. 
Jillian Le Barmaid, who, who we talked about earlier, or who we were talking about, who we talked with, that uh, she was talking about that uh, he, she didn't like Farnard the drunkard, but uh, he of course is just drunk because he had some horrific experiences with the butcher when Lazarus let him down there. And yeah, I was talking about yeah, Jillian. Jillian is uh, the f I would say the foster mother of Leah. So I'm hoping to see her in NT3 as well. And you might uh, might be wondering, didn't everybody die in in uh, when uh, in Tristram? Uh, no, not exactly. Adria the witch and uh, Jillian did escape. Before everything, before the demons overrun the place, uh, Farnard did die, and of course, uh, Griswold was had a fate worse than death. He became an uh, undead zombie or, or undead hero, serving uh, the, the Lord of Terror, Diablo. And uh, who and Wirt, of course, the small boy who lost his leg there, was actually dragged down by the fallen ones, uh, along with other children, and was tortured, and uh, and his uh, feet, uh, one of his feet got uh, some infection or something that uh, Papin the healer in D1 had to remove his leg. And after that, uh, we're gonna see later in the in the story that the worst has uh, just he was a sm uh, was a kind-hearted boy, but now he's like bitter and and has uh, he only likes Jillian and wants to escape with her, etc. But he doesn't like anyone else. Well, he d does like like Griswold a little bit because Griswold did actually save him or so. So it's quite interesting that uh, Griswold, uh, when you encounter them in Tristram in D2, both Griswold, uh, Griswold is the undead sup super undead hero there that you have to fight, oh, and the worst is actually dead there in on the ground. And when you click on him, a lot of gold is going to spawn around him, and that's uh, just a reference to he's always. He, he's always charging 50 gold when you want to see wh what item he's got for sale, so it's quite quite entertaining there. If uh, I'm talking about uh, the car, and that was Adria by the way, is uh, the witch, uh, the mother of Leah. And if I'm talking about any NPCs, uh, gossip, etc., uh, I'll just keep quiet while they talk, etc. And yeah, I'm just buying a new axe because, of course, my weapon of choice. And save frequently, guys, if you're going to play this game. Because you? if you die, you're going to have to load. There's no respawn in town or, or nothing like that. So what else? What else? So we can uh, talk a little bit about the quests. The quests are fairly simple, I would say. But uh, you need to at least play through this game twice to get all the quests, because there are uh, not every quest is going to uh, pop up for you. So I think there are um, maybe three, maybe four quests that uh, you guys are not going to see in this playthrough. But uh, I was fairly lucky, I have to say, I, I got all the best quests. Like the Butcher and, and uh, we're going to get King Leoric as well. Uh, quite good to see him because uh, he's going to return in D3 as well. So, And as you can see, no demon can exactly die. He's uh, Leoric, we kill him in this in D1, but he's going to stir up again in, in D3. So we can, since we are in this room, we can talk a little bit about the spells. 
So every character can use uh, every every spell. Uh, there's no difference, uh, variation or anything like that. There are racial spells, but uh, they are just quite simple. And uh, yeah, uh, the barbarian is probably the uh, character that uh, shouldn't be using spells or is going to be a ha having a hard time doing it because he cannot increase his magic. He has. Uh, just no option for it except in uh, terms if he has like rings or amulets or something like that to increase his magic but I wouldn't recommend it just put everything in vitality and strength for him but um, and and uh, same goes for uh, like the sorcerer he can use the 200 decks he can use everything but uh, it wouldn't benefit f fit him a lot but uh, and you might wonder why why doesn't it benefit him or why can't I play him like that? Well, all the attributes in this game are actually hard capped. So uh, when you play like I play a barbarian, then he's uh, capped at uh, two, let's say, uh, 250 vitality. And uh, on the other hand, you have the sorcerer, and uh, she's going uh, he's going to be capped at like 80 vitality. So that doesn't really make many uh, much sense to be uh, playing a sor sorcerer like uh, a melee character, mainly because you cannot uh, level him up in in that way. I I couldn't remember. I actually have the two installed as well on my system, but uh, I had a level. 77 hardcore sorcerers and some idiot just killed me I would say because I was in like hell ball and he said the teleport was safe and we were farming ball etc and I walked in the teleport and it was let's say not safe and I died and a lot of people these days have scripts or uh, something like that so when you like drop below 15% life, 20% life probably a number you can uh, decide on your own and you will uh, automatically quit the game but I had no such thing, I, I used no cheats, no nothing like that so so I was at a disadvantage there when the other players uh, who encountered the same thing they just quit the game, came back and, and, and flamed the guy who was trying to kill us But yeah, I went in the old Tristram and uh, saw the bodies, or supposedly the bodies of Farnam and uh, Pepin the healer and the uh, third one. And yeah, of course, Wirt wir there as well. And I think there was somebody else as well. I'm, I'm forgetting someone I, uh, that. But of course, Kane is there in, in a cage, and we need to save him. And as we do that, he offers us to identify items free of charge. In this series, I will be talking a lot about D1, D2, and D3 as it goes along, and just trying to like put uh, the lore and everything into some kind of context. So when you actually play D3, you're going to have much more knowledge about what's going on. And uh, Atria, uh, mother of Leah, is going to appear again in D3, just so you know. And of course, Iswal, if uh, the fallen angel, if you remember him, he's going to appear as well. So back to D1. So what's happening here? Uh, when is this uh, story taking place? This story is uh, approximately 180 years after. The Sin War, or uh, after the the Primevals got exiled into Sanctuary, and they just uh, roamed free until the Horvatrum, which is a mage clan, which actually Dacker Kane is a part of, and uh, Talrasa as well. Um, and with uh, the Angel Tyriel, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, at least they they go on a bounty hunt and uh, they they get the three the soul stones to uh, imprison Baal, Diablo and and Mephisto and they actually manage to do that and uh, seal Diablo beneath the cathedral in Tristram and 
yeah that that's all happening in the past like uh, some some uh, 150 years past this point here but then uh, all everybody forgets yeah, about it and uh, and uh, Leoric comes to the story and then he makes himself like king everybody likes him he is has good spirit and, uh, and a nice attitude and uh, and he 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 settles in the cathedral but uh, Diablo has been fighting and corrupting uh, the soulstone and man manages to uh, get like the archbishop surplusers to shatter the soulstone and, and freeing freeing him a little bit but as we all know Diablo needs a mortal vessel so he tries to pick the strongest one which uh, was King Leoric and tries to poison his mind doesn't work and is forced to steal his uh, child which uh, I talked about earlier and is currently in possession I think in possession of the child and of course we can assume he's not at full power and he's actually looking for probably another vessel that can transport him is strong enough to transport him unseen to free his bro brothers but now we are here Con uh, we're going to f save and fight the smith ah the smith the butcher of course I have no healing potions I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing this is just uh, the most silly uh, I'm just being silly here of course I need a lot more potions so what's going to happen uh, I'm just going to allow you to watch this And that's what happened. I just got butchered by the butcher. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to have to try a little harder to kill him. And actually this was quite hard. Especially because uh, I thought uh, initially I just needed a little bit more armor. So as you will see in, uh, in the following minutes as uh, so I try to buy a new armor and waste almost all of my cash and that's not good because you probably know because I have then I no money for potions yes potions and D1 is a lot is is a is a potion fiesta I have to say you need potions a lot and you're going to have to stock up your inventory with potions etc and actually I found out that um, uh, money is quite an issue in the early stages but uh, at the later stages it uh, becomes a an, an non-issue and you're going to throw everything on the ground so uh, there's a, was, uh, no, not a good transition there into no money and then I had a lot of money in, uh, in the end and you're gonna see just gold everywhere actually didn't found out that in a little bit later on the down the road that I could actually throw down everything I had or if I wanted some uh, free space and it would stay there even if I would log out and etc I w uh, it would stay when I logged back in but uh, there's an exec exec exception to this uh, that's when and that's the new armor but uh, yeah I was wondering that there's uh, no appear uh, no changes in appearances and uh, now I'm just buying a uh, couple of potions but yeah you will see also later on when I get better armor that uh, the appearance does in fact change but it changes overall so when I get a new a uh, better armor and uh, and the appear appearances change the axe changes as well and everything even though I haven't even bought the new axe or I'm using still the same axe so there's going to be the second effort here for us to meet actually this has been uh, just uh, trivial here uh, the movie Borderlands there's actually a weapon there a gun there that's called like uh, the butcher something 
and has written all, all on it fresh meat so that's quite interesting there uh, there's also in world of warcraft i think or was it in yeah i think there's a a type of uh, monster in war uh, in warcraft that does actually say fresh meat when you enter um, but uh, i would like to have this series like uh, so that uh, you guys ask me uh, ask me uh, a question related to whatever you guys want it doesn't really matter you can talk about Icelandic politics of course I'm from Iceland or you, if you want to talk about but uh, games and uh, of course I would like to have questions about Diablo because uh, uh, Diablo 3 will be that much better the more I know about it and uh, the more I am familiarized with the characters uh, and you can talk about characters in D2 as well I have that game and I can uh, try to find out whatever you guys want. And I, I, I did get a question about uh, like Haiti, Hatriel, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think that's an angel that uh, you meet in River of Flame in D2 that has exa has no relevance, or so it seems. Uh, and it's speculated, just so I can answer this question uh, right now, it's speculated that um, this angel actually has long gone. His uh, mortal uh, spirit, uh, the, the spirit there is uh, like there's uh, nothing behind it, it's just a message. Because uh, angels and demons need uh, a vessel to, or uh, need uh, so some th kind of link to... Uh, be able to stay here, stay in the sanctuary. So the next episode will be about. Uh, then we will finish the butcher, uh, and we will encounter Leoric as well. If we finish him or not, uh, I'm not quite sure. But uh, please ask. I, I'll try to put a video on twice. Uh, two videos a week so we can get through it and I would like questions or anything if uh, I'm not sure how people how many people will watch or anything like that but uh, it's going to be interesting because you can imagine it can be quite difficult to talk about uh, things when nothing is happening in the video or uh, or so to say So I'll just see you next time guys, and uh, yeah.